Okay, so one of the questions I get most frequently is, I've written this screenplay. What shall I do with it? Okay, so let's look at the big picture here. No major studio is going to look at an unsolicited screenplay. They won't do it. You can stick it in an envelope to them, it'll come straight back to you, unopened, with a little note saying, we do not look at unsolicited screenplays. Uh, no major agency will do it either, uh, for exactly the same reasons. There are basically two reasons. Uh, the first is legal. The legal department won't let them do it because, you know, a screenplay that possibly was sent to them 10 years ago, and now there's a project in development that's got similar themes. Here's your lawsuit. So in an attempt to cut down on frivolous or unnecessary lawsuits as they see it, um, they just won't, they won't look at stuff like that. Probably um, more important, actually, is the quality of, oh, 95% of screenplays that people just write um, is rubbish. They really are not worth looking at. Um, I'm sorry to say this, but it's, it's true. You look at a thousand screenplays, look at 10,000 screenplays, chances are you won't find anything that's worth taking further. So it's just not a very good return on investment from the studio's point of view, or indeed the agency's point of view. Second factor at work here. Well, remember, we're looking at the big picture now. Um, most actors, as you probably know, are out of work. I think it's something like 90% of actors at any one time are out of work, which is about, what is that, about 10%, 10 times rather, the, uh, the number of um, people unemployed in the, in the wider economy. So what do, what do actors do when they're out of work? <laughs> they write screenplays, they do, for themselves, for people they know, and so on. Actors have always got a screenplay or two or dozen in development. That's what they do mostly, apart from wait tables, of course. They do, do the same thing, do, do both at the same time. Um, that means, there's a lot of screenplays around, an awful lot. And, you know, at least act, I mean, actors kind of know their business better than most um, first-time uh, screenplay authors. So they've got a bit of an advantage there, but even so, it contributes to that enormous sort of tsunami out there of screenplays that are floating around. A uh, third reason is that screenplays are fairly easy to knock out. Not to do extremely well, but, you know, you can write a screenplay in six to eight weeks. Now, how long does it take to, to write a manuscript, a uh, book manuscript? A year or so? So, again, that means <laughs> at any one time, there is an absolute shed load of screenplays just floating around. Most of them not very good. Most of them kind of written by actors or friends of actors or something like that. And the vast majority, I'm talking about 99% plus, will never, ever go any further. So you are getting into, if you decide to, to, to do this, you're getting into a very crowded market. It's not to say that, um, you know, the occasional success might not happen. But really, you know, I mean, somebody wins the lottery every week. We're talking about that sort of magnitude of odds. Doesn't make sense to me. Another factor to, to consider here is that what is a screenplay, actually? What is it, you know, basically, what is it? Well, I can tell you, it is a technical document. That's what it is. It's a technical document. Um, let's have a look at one. This is a page from um, the social network. So just have a look at it. Let's, let's scroll down for a little bit. We go. What do you see? Camera angles, instructions to actors, um, but mostly lots and lots and lots of dialogue. That's what a screenplay consists of, mostly. It's dialogue. Um, no possibility to add any characterization. Because that's what the actor does. That's what the actor brings to, uniquely brings, to, to the package. So you've just got the words on the page there that the actor says. And the actor has, has to bring everything else that in the normal course of events, a prose writer, somebody who's writing, say, fiction for publication in a book or a short story, 
that's what they would have to write into to their particular creative work. But that's the creative element that an actor brings. So screenplays are technical documents minus an awful lot. You think about it. Now, how can you consider that to be a good platform or a good calling card or a good showcase for your writing? When A, it's a technical document, and B, characterization is almost non-existent. It's really hard. Um, almost invariably, almost invariably, the best advice I can give is if your story is really good, then consider rewriting it um, as prose for a short story, uh, publication in, in book form, magazine, all kinds of outlets now. Consider doing that. Consider getting it noticed. Good reviews. Um, get it talked about a bit. Get your writing appreciated. Get it on the radar. From my point of view, that's time well invested. It's author's time well invested in their own future. So mostly, forget about jumping straight to screenplay. Go for something a little bit more conventional and you may well see the fruits of your efforts a lot sooner than you would otherwise. Uh, lots and lots of advice um, about this and all kinds of other things at Latopia, the net's oldest writer's colony, and the friend list as well. See you there.